Hello. Have you or a loved one have ever been uh, involved in an accident involving big fighting game characters that like to come up closely, sneak up right behind you, and sensually grab you, non-consensually, and deal over half your health? Well, too bad, because you're going to get more of that, because not only does busting make me feel good, but it should make you feel good, too. We're going to be doing another Guilty Gear uh, deck tech here, and starting off, we're going to have four of probably the best uh, plusing zero in the set, maybe, uh, Amelia, Master Assassin. Uh, during your turn, it's a 4K, 4K character, so it's going to get over pretty much almost everything out in level zero outside of additional buffs, and during your opponent's turn, if start of combat if it's something facing this character it can move anywhere on the front row as long as there is an open spot for it uh, i really do like this avoider type of runner profile a lot <clears throat> so it and makes it makes the card essentially big enough to move in front of like the utility pieces but not so small giving it the free runner type where it can pretty much be killed by anything we have whoops we have th three, uh, you know, time traveling musician. She is the Ricky of the set. Uh, so pay one, clock yourself, search your deck for level one or lower. Uh, she also has a pretty cool on play effect for her second effect. Uh, look it up top two and rearrange. This can be really cool for uh, using our Giovanna skill later on when we get to our level ones. Uh, and also just a pretty good way to make sure we don't trigger our climaxes mm, on our first attack. I like, I want to there we go. Make sure that. Yep, that's still fine. Uh, another level zero. You're probably familiar with this one if you've looked at any Guilty Gear deck lists already. Uh, this is the level zero Jacko Drop Searcher. So again, on play and on reverse, uh, you can pay one, ditch one, search your deck for a Guilty Gear character. And when it gets reversed, you can send itself to memory if you have one or less characters in memory already. So, neat little tidbit is that the send itself to memory and the on reverse drop search effect are on two separate effects. So, let's say uh, your opponent's playing slime. They have the 3-2 yellow card, or the 3-5 yellow card. They don't remember the name of. Uh, you can't play backups and on reverse uh, clock kick stuff. So you can still act so you can still activate the on reverse drop search effect. You just won't be able to send it to memory, which is a pretty cool interaction. We have three Ramthal Brigade of Valerius. Uh, they are standard salvage brainstorm of the set. And when you play a climax, you can pump something 1k as well. And when you play the climax, you can send a copy of this or a level one we don't run into memory, which is <laughs> Very nice. Uh, the only really reason we run it is because it's Salvage Brainstormer. Those are good. And it can build up our memory for our level 1 Giovannas that we'll get to in a hot minute. We have three Zato Cursed Entity. Uh, let's put the shiny one on top. Yeah! Uh, uh, on place, and any character from your grave to memory, which is nice, as long as you have one or less in memory already. Again, uh, max of two for all the Guilty Gear card effects. And then, uh, start your opponent's turn, build top card of your deck, level one or higher, bounce it back to hand. So another way to plus, so that brings us with seven, plusing zeros, uh, costless plusing zeros, uh, ten, including the Ricky. That pr gives us a pretty good level zero game. We have one copy of Soul Prototype Gear. Uh, the only reason we run this is to give our finishers hex proof, because our finishers are very susceptible, our finisher is very susceptible to things like tap counter. So we kind of want to make sure we get it off. Another one we run is the Zato 1 uh, Shadow Shadow Wielder uh, Assist. All your level 2 or higher characters... Level 2. All your characters in front of this card gain 500 power. And during your turn, a uh, specific Milia we'll get to later gains 2k power to make them quite chonky. Moving on to our level 1s, we have 4 Soul Bad Guy from the Trial Deck. Shiny ones on top because we like that. Uh, gains 1k for each character in your back row, so maxing out at 6k. And then on and then on reverse, discard a card if we have the overdrive dragon install climax in play. Uh, you get to search your deck for two characters. So it's a very good way to just thin through the deck. Uh, if you triple combo this, you're gonna be ripping out so many cards that you are probably gonna stay at level one for an extra turn, which is pretty nice. 
Uh, speaking of extra level ones we need, we have two Biken and Delilah togethers. Uh, if all your characters are Guilty Gear, uh, they're 6k, so not a real condition. They're just always 6k. And they're on play Climax Swap. We are running three different Climax combos in this deck because we like to be silly. You know, Meg Megalovania. Uh, worst case scenario, it's a 6 5 beater. It gains power for each of the other characters on attack. And, or it can be a massive disruption tool by bouncing your opponent's entire front row to their hand. But the low, low cost of four stock, one discard, and burning a meter. The rest of the level ones we have here are going to be our three Giovanna Special Operations Unit Officer. Uh, if you have one card in memory already during your turn, it's going to be a 3-5. And if you have two cards in memory, it's going to gain an additional 5k cross turn. So it'll be a 4k during your opponent's turn, 7k during your turn. On attack, reveal top card of your deck. Uh, if it's a level 1 or higher, you can just send it straight to stock and then do your normal trigger check. So a really cool thing you can do is have your souls, you swing with your souls, search out a bunch of level 0s, and then swing with your Geo, and pretty much guarantee yourself, or at least try to, a level 1 or higher to send to stock for extra stock generation. No level 2s in this deck, but we have a fat stack of level 3s, so let's get into that. Uh, first of it is our early play, the Melia Winger. Um, if you have a copy of Milia Master Assassin in your clock, which is the pretty good plusing zero, she is minus one level. Uh, something I forgot to mention with the Shadow Wheeler uh, Zato one. At the start of your main phase, you can choose a card in your grave and a card in the bot, a character in your grave, and exchange it with the bottom card of your clock. So that is going to allow you to essentially uh, force yourself to be into Milia so that you can play your Milias. Uh, Another thing is that we are running three colors, so being able to constantly swap out the bottom card of our clock is going to help us be able to play cards in certain colors that we don't have a lot of uh, cards for, like blue. Mm. And Melia combos with the bar. So, Melia, on play, top check three, grab any card. This is going to help us go into our two of of a climax or just other copies of herself or other pieces that we need for our finisher or just anything that we're really looking for. Uh, during your turn, she gains 1k, so she'll be a 10-5 during your turn. And she has on, and on attack with the climax combo, uh, you salvage any character from your grave, add it to hand, and then gains the effect of on reverse. Yeah, gains the effect on reverse. Uh, put the opponent's car battle opponent on top of the deck. So it's a great way to hard remove stuff from the field and try and push a little bit extra damage because it'll essentially turn all of your next attacks into swings for two because that one is guaranteed to be a character. So ideally, you would have two Amelias in your front row and a Shitter as your third lane. Uh, these Amelias would be 9, 5, 10, 5, 11, 5, 12, K, 14, K, which is a sizable... So you'll swing, salvage your two characters, probably a copy of your finisher, or an off, and then an off finisher. Hmm. And then top deck their characters, and trying to have more damage stick throughout the mid game. Oh, that goes there. Uh, one, of our, one of the two off finishers we run is Kai Mighty King. Uh, on play, you can summon another thing from your hand for free, and then he gains additional 2k power. And he has on reverse, uh, pay, pay for ditch 2 to restand. So it's a nice way to uh, just give us some extra push because our, we are going all or nothing in on our main finisher. And to support the Kai, we have three dragon installs. Uh, you can only target, it's an event, you can only target Kai with. Uh, you give the Kai an additional 3000 power in on reverse burn 1. Generally, we're only going to really have like one or two of these to put on our Kai, but having a restander that has on reverse burn two is pretty good, if you ask me. Our second off finisher is going to be Soul Greatest Rival. Uh, on play, you can discard a card to fish for your graveyard for a climax, which is going to really help us get into our main climax for our finisher. And then also has the effect pay to ditch two Guilty Gear characters and burn a meter. So this is like the only two real like meter effects that we care about in the deck, everything else is kind of we just sit on the memory and use it as extra compression. 
But if we need to, we can phase you, ditch two, burn a meter to burn five. Quite a bit of damage. Uh, ideally, you want to pair this with a uh, decompression tool like a Fumio or a Stock Swap, but spaces are tight, and this is a fun deck, so I'm not trying too, too hard with it. But our main finisher of the set, or of the deck, is Big Damage Daddy Potemkin, who you do not want to be the child of because of child abuse. Maybe. Uh, no on play effect, but he gains 1k for each other character you have, so he's going to max out a 12k by himself. Put that with his climax. Heavenly Potemkin Buster. Inject the glue directly into your veins as you get a reverse on your opponent. And after you reverse your opponent, you pay three, get one, sack the climax. You choose three, any three cards in your opponent's grave, hope most likely not climaxes, and then you put them on top of their deck and they burn four. So it's a very over glorified burn one. So they're either take four or they live. But I like those odds. I'm a gambling man. And I like, I like the 50-50 matchups. That's why I play grapplers in every fighting game. So yeah, this is a really cool deck. Don't expect it to ever be good, but always expect it to be fun.